Hello world, this is Suraj. Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, I'll be explaining how to get a battery health report if you're using Windows 10 or Windows 11 operating system. So, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to open the command prompt. So, we'll type cmd. Already we have here. You can type cmd here and you can get this command prompt. You can open this command prompt. There are different ways we have to get a battery health report on Windows 10 and Windows 11 operating system. Here I'm using Windows 11 operating system. There we have to type the command prompt power cfg slash battery report. I'm going to copy this one here. I'm going to come to this uh, command prompt and we'll paste here. Then you can hit the enter key. Once you hit the enter key, then you can get the message battery life report saved to file path here. I already opened this file path here. I'm going to open this folder. Here we can see battery report.html the exact file here we have. So I'm going to double click this HTML file and here you can see the battery report, computer name, system product name and more detail about our computer. Then install battery here we have the name Dell, the name of the battery, manufacturer, serial number, chemistry. Here you can see the design capacity 53,010 but the full capacity is 48,780. So let's see the battery health percentage. I'm going to open the calculator. I'm going to type this uh, full charge capacity 48780 divided by 53010. Then you can multiply in 200 and you can get the percentage. So here we have 92.02 percentage we have. So, so far I have used my battery in this laptop and the percentage of the health is 92 percentage almost and you can get most reports and you can get other report as well recent usages and battery usages of uh, the last three days and also you can get full history here you can see the start date of this laptop battery 2022 to 28 so there we have uh, the full durations the battery durations how long we have connected and everything we can see here and also you can see the battery capacity history from the starting date we have the full charge capacity we had this uh, full charge capacity but uh, gradually it reduced to this state by this amount and also you can get battery life estimates or uh, reports and more details we can see in these reports. Let's see another way how we can get the better report. In Windows uh, 10, you can press Windows key plus X. Then you can select Power Cell Admin if you're using Windows 10. But here I'm using Windows 11. I'm going to press Windows plus X key or you can right click on the Start button then you can get the same menu. I'm going to click on the Windows Terminal Admin Panel and you can get this panel. Here you have to type Power CFG Better Report. Then you can set the destinations where you want to get the report. I'm going to copy this command and you can get the same command in my videos descriptions on YouTube. Then you can hit the Enter key here. Then here we have the same message Better Life Report Save to File Path the same file path that we have given here. So I'm going to open this PC, then come all the way down in the C drive. Here we have better report. You can double click this, then you can get the similar report we have here. Same reports. You can get these here as well. And you can go up and you can see the design capacity. There's a full amount of uh, the fresh battery but the full charge capacity right now you can charge the maximum up to 48780. Then you can use your calculator, then you can get the percentage. Like that you can get the battery health report. If you are using your laptop, you can uh, get to know the percentage of uh, battery health. Or if you are buying second hand laptop, you can check the battery health report, then you can decide further. That's all I want to discuss in this tutorial. If you love this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel, click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the ring bell. Then you will be notified of my brand new videos. Thank you very much guys. We'll meet in the next video. Goodbye for now.